A recent class action lawsuit claims social security numbers and personal information was stolen from millions of people and as many on edge. Good evening and thanks for joining us here on New Center Maine at 530. I'm Zach Blanchard and I'm Chris Costa. This high profile cybersecurity issue involves an online background check website called National Public Data. So what can you do to protect yourself from the growing problem? New Center Maine's Caroline LaCour spoke with experts to find out. Caroline. Zach and Chris, good evening. Uh, according to the Social Security Administration, no internal systems or data was compromised in the incident, but National Public Data has confirmed a data security incident on their website. That company isn't formally registered in Maine, but experts I spoke with today say that doesn't mean Mainers are in the clear, but there are steps you can take to protect yourself. It looks like there are a lot of outstanding questions with this particular issue. Principal Consumer Credit Examiner Edward Myslick says while Mainers shouldn't be alarmed, they should be prepared. It appears as though this is person's names, social security numbers, as well as their addresses, and also their relatives' names, addresses, and social security numbers. Myslick says criminals could do a lot with that kind of information, including opening up a credit card in a victim's name. Even if there hasn't been identity theft, it's always good to uh, place what is called a fraud alert on your consumer file. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. First, consumers can head to the Federal Trade Commission's website at identitytheft.gov to access the credit bureau contacts. And for Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. By clicking on these, you're going to go straight to the company portal. By registering, you'll be able to either place a security alert so or security this, freeze this. on your credit. And you're going to want to do that for each one. When you go through this process, you are then registered with the CRA. If you have trouble, MySlick reminds that you might have to register over the phone with each branch. Um, just because somebody's personally identifiable information is out there, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a victim of identity theft. That's a legal term. Now, just a reminder, you will have to go through this process to unfreeze your information if you decide you want to apply for a new credit per se. Experts say another way you can protect yourself is to use a prepaid debit card when buying online, especially when dealing with a website you don't 100% trust. Zach and Chris. Caroline LaCour in the studio tonight. Thanks so much.